Hi, ETL enthusiasts. I have been preparing series of um, presentations for Informatica interview preparation. Welcome to this presentation. This is related to Oracle SQL interview questions while Informatica. My name is Tira. Uh, in general, in Informatica interview, 70% questions are from ETL Informatica, 10% are from ETL Basics, 20% are from SQL. These 20% I tried um, in search of Google. Uh, whenever I search, I will get um, questions for SQL developers, not for these type of uh, ETL enthusiasts. So I just thought of sharing some of the uh, questions that frequently asked in Informatica interview. So let's begin with the first question here. Usually first question starts from duplicate finding. So they may ask write a query to display or you know delete duplicate records from a table. You can try this way delete from EMP A where row ID not in select min of row ID from EMP B where B dot EMP ID is equal to A dot EMP ID correlated query basically. When you use pseudo columns like row ID or row number then if the interviewer is a Indian egoistic guy then they will definitely ask try a query without row ID and row numbers. So I saw uh, this in Google and I have interesting um, article says that if database itself Oracle itself is giving a feature to use pseudo columns and the work has been done the above query can work on the delete uh, duplicates then why you want a query without duplicates this is as simple as that but you know our Indians usually ask this way if you reply answer saying pseudo columns are there I want to use that only then they will immediately take you out of the interview <laughs> list okay that's I don't try you can say that this is what I thought of but you know I was not uh, getting the second one you can say that okay let's go with the second question so it is always top salaries okay so write a query to display top nth salary seventh salary is tenth salary whatever salary it is still we are using row number okay so select a salary from select a distinct salary from EMP order by salary descending where row number is equal to whatever number you wanted to so as usual uh, Indian interviewer must be asking without row number and row ID so you can try this second option okay let's go for third one this is related to the second one only but a uh, little bit different like here you have to display top three salaries for each department in each department so you have two different tables here so this query can work to display three salaries for our for each department, top three salaries from each department. Okay, let us go with the next one. Next one must be five words. Yes. So this is one of the queries. So they they just wanted this input table to be output like this. Here departments are rows. Here departments are columns. So they wanted in the, this way. This is called pivot. When you change rows to column, columns to rows, or um, rows can be increased in the second output that is possible with a pivot query see here we are reducing the rows right and uh, um, rows are converted into a column here so that's why it's pivot okay so this is the example we have and let's go with the question number five that is row number so they will ask us to generate a sequence number without row number in general oracle we have a row num concept to display the sequence of the record numbers Whereas we want to generate a sequence number without pseudo columns, then we need this one. Let's go with the sixth question. So percentage calculations. So write a query to display input as output below. So contribution percentage we're calculating here on total amount for each employee. Say for example, this contribution, total contribution. Okay. Say for example, total contribution is 10 sorry 100% then first employee contribution is 10% so that's why that's what the calculation here is DEF 20% GHA 55% is 55% so he wanted a query on this one okay he means here interview okay let's go with the question number seven 
so this is over partition by this is generally asked a question so what is the difference between group by and over partition by so these are the two uh, outputs we have output one is based on group by output two is based on over partition by so so write a query to display this input as these two outputs so you need two queries one is group by so select s name sum of marks total marks from student group by s name so you got this one when you want to display the output two, then you need this query sum of marks over partition by student name student id student name as total and student id as stid as name from student so so that you will display this what is the difference between group by and partition by group by reduces the number of rows whereas uh, our partition by doesn't reduce the number of rows let us go with the eighth question uh, i have uh, put two questions for you so you can try and share me share me your answer in comment section okay so this is um, five word query that what we uh, discussed in question number four this is related to it please try yourself so these are the store id sales date and sales amount and you have to display this is group by you can say store year and month of sale and then sum of the amount total sale for that particular year and month combination okay this is like five words store year and january february you have to give all this december and you have to mention each store each year so what is the sale so for each store each year you will get only one record here you will get 12 records for each store and each year you will get 12 records so this is the one query for you this is the second query for you write yourself and let me know so the input is here so I have a table player table player ID player name captain ID batsman bowler flag okay so Dhoni is uh, the captain that's why his captain id is null and he's a batsman so patan is a bowler his captain is one dhoni sachin is a batsman his captain is one so that is dhoni so without one he's a batsman so now dhoni is captain because null whoever null is captain whoever um what is this one uh, one player id player name yeah captain whose captain id is null then he is the captain simple logic okay so one Dhoni is null and second Ricky Ponting is a null guy so he is also captain so two captains okay and you have to give me number of bowlers under this captain so one bowler Patan is there only one bowler and three batsmen under him so sorry four batsmen oh I think it's a typo so it's a three three batsmen okay like that Ricky Ponting is captain here and he has one batman and two bowlers oh I gave some different uh, different way but please um, this is a typo please excuse me on this one so um, number of bowlers is one here and sorry two here number of bowler two and batsman oh this one is correct sorry sorry this one is correct this one seems wrong number of bowlers we have one and but three batmans here but uh, I gave four sorry this there is a typo here please uh, try to uh, write a query for this one and share in the comment section okay that's all for this presentation folks keep learning new things have a good one